Hello, hello to the amazing people and welcome back to the Banished Vault, an amazing strategy game where you, well, optimize a lot and hibernate and travel between solar systems. You can find the full playlist in the comment description uh, below the video. I'm currently in the system 3, uh, 12 turns to go and things went pretty smoothly for the first part, but then started like um, hmm, being a bit problematic. I have kind of a clear way forward here though. Uh, so I've sent my first batch of resources back, some artifacts and stuff, and I have enough fuel to go all the way down here, help these guys, gather some more stuff, and then go back home. And uh, between episodes, I was thinking, right, uh, fuel takes up a lot of room, like a lot of room. So basically, tr uh, like uh, one stack of water is enough to make three stacks of fuel. So I was thinking there is some merit for like not bringing back home like a whole bunch of fuel, but bring back as much water as I can. Because then like <coughs> we're, we're more space efficient. And then maybe we can like, I don't know, maybe we can land on this planet here and uh, turn that water into fuel here to get ready for the for the next episode, you know? like some interesting ideas uh, at least turn part of water or like I don't know yeah but anyway that's the idea right uh, like start the next uh, episode with way more water than fuel because we can just bring way more water back home uh, from here where we can uh, we can mine a lot of it okay so I'm confident that this would be a more uh, worthwhile play Okay, so where were we? Right, so I want to make at least like full stack of stasis here. Uh, what do I lack? Water, okay. Which I want to mine ev any anyway, more than I need. Okay, so I have a full stack of stasis. Now the question is, do I continue? Like, do I spend my CO2 stack to full? I mean, I could. I actually have some CO2 stack stored up back home, like four, which in emergency, if I need it for something, I can I can use. So yeah, I think this should be turned into stasis also. Okay. Then, let's see. Utah. Yeah, Utah, I need to bring all the way down here. So let's see. So I can get here. Well, for some reason, I only have one action. I guess I had two. Okay. Well, I need to go through the clock here anyway. Um, so it might be, yeah, this is, this will be the action. Let's use two fuel to go through this one here. And then we're going to see this costs zero. So this is a good stop always either way. But yeah, he's on his way back to his friends down there. Okay, then we got Sava. Sava needs to produce lots of fuel. We'll see about the elixir production here. Fuel is a priority. I have time to do that if I want to. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to create enough fuel. So, fuel's priority. This planet is really hard to land on, so it's not a good place for everyone else to come and just produce some fuel. <coughs> okay. What I really want at some point, like there's some interesting tech here, like... Um, oh, what's this nice picture? Look at that. Uh, so there is an orbital converter building which makes four fuel out of water. And it's not really good just because it ha has better efficiency, but it's also really great because you can build that thing, let's say here, or here even, or well, here would be good, right? So once we get past this really hard to move through points, eight, eight and six, which use like hell of a lot of fuel to get through, yeah? Then we get like, we get here with all of our water and we make a whole bunch of fuel 
and then we land on the ship with like a monster load of fuel. And this is only four, five, six energy. So this is like super close to the main ship uh, in terms of energy. So yeah, this would be a really good place to make some fuel if I had the tech. Problem is I don't have the tech. Like, so hopefully we can get the tech. That's what I'm trying to get at here. So lot is a bit stuck. Um, can't do much else but make elixirs here. But that's okay. <laughs> He's out of fuel. Somebody's gonna have to come and save him. It is what it is. Okay, end of turn. Okay, now you. Let's see. Is it worthwhile to do another stop? Or is it better to just go through? So this would take 11 fuel. And let's see if I go here. This would take four. And then for 16, we're gonna need five. So that's nine, so that's better. Okay. I can't land here. <coughs> All right. So here I decided to make another stack of stasis. All right. Which, like, the begs the question if I win once I write the final chronicle, why am I making that many stasis? Because I can, okay? Because I can. <laughs> and if the next, uh, so, let's say the next system sucks, right? We can just skip it with all the stasis I have, so. <laughs> That's true. Like, basically, I can skip a whole system with uh, all the extra stasis I I'm making here. And that's like a big tool to have, right? So I'm gonna have 18, 25 stasis. Yeah, okay. Although I already know the next, uh, the next system We'll need 10 stasis for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. So now, yeah. So now we have the stasis created. And now we start mining for water. Okay. So Lodi. Poor Lodi, just make some elixirs for us. I mean, Sava probably also needs to make some elixirs. We'll see, we'll see. Like, once I have enough fuel that I can both get to Lodi and that both of them can get out, I think I'll start making some elixirs, but maybe not before that. Okay, then with you. Let's see, if I can land on the planet, I will. Because that's gonna be very uh, efficient. It seems like I can. Now the question is, like, do I wanna land on this one? Or do I wanna land here? And grab some titanium? Thing is, if I land here, I'm stuck. And I don't think we have a full producer here, right? Uh... No, so he would need to be saved, which means I didn't really do anything in that case. <coughs> no, let's just uh, end the view with our friends here. I have just enough fuel. Well, they could have saved me if I had enough for here, so. Right. <coughs> Good. Then let's see. Uh, so now... Well, I have room for four more iron on this stack. So I think that's good. There. 
and then I probably don't have enough fuel to get out so let's make some fuel also make some water okay load the make some more elixirs Sava. Okay, I got 15 fuel. So let's see. With 15 fuel, he can get up from the planet. Wait, what? So apparently I can't plan the route without the navigator. That's fine. Oh no, something else is wrong. Oh. Fuel. <laughs> That's why. <coughs> so need six fuel to take off. Then I need to get... Here. With a small engine. So this is 10 energy, so 13 energy. So this was six, right? Yeah, six. So 11 fuel, 11 fuel to get there. And then to land, I need three. Thirteen fuel. Thirteen fuel to land here. Okay. Thirteen fuel to land here. And then each one of these needs two to get up. So that's seventeen. And then to get to the ship, he can use this engine. Three, four, five. Okay. Like seventeen or something. So eighteen should be enough. I'm gonna do a recount later. But like I want to have eighteen fuel before I do anything else. There. I mean, I have 21. This should be very more than enough. Alright, so that's good. And the turn. So now... Oh, but... Oh, crap. He should build this when he doesn't have... Okay. And he doesn't have any actions, so... There's no consequence. Yeah, I'm kind of gaming the system here a little bit. Sadly, he only gained one action because he was here. So I could have like went there and then landed. Yeah. Okay. It is what it is. Well, I guess we get one extra action, which is okay. So what's happening here? Okay, I made a whole bunch of stasis. I filled up my, my thing with iron. Like, I probably want to go and grab some titanium. Also, like here. But first, like... <coughs> like, I will not... I don't think I'm going to make, like, a trip home and then back here again. Yeah, I think that's just way too much fuel and... It's, it's probably better to just make one trip now. Start it now. With, like, a whole bunch of water in my tanks. And like, just land somewhere where we're gonna make a whole bunch of fuel. Like, like here maybe. This is a nice planet to, to land on and make fuel. It only has two actions, but that's fine. It'll still be gonna be able to do lots of fuel. Um, unless, let me see. Yeah, one, two. This is already four. 
And then this plant's like really hard to land on. I guess making fuel here is okay, actually. We get four actions here, and we... Hmm. Yeah, we could make some fuel here. Some silicon iron also. I don't know, but this is still kind of pricey. That's fine. That's okay. So I should have just enough fuel to reach this planet and as much water as I can. Then we go here. And then we turn some water into... Well, and then we turn as much water into fuel that fits. And then we go to the next place. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. Let's see, how are we doing with space on my ships? What if I don't want to bring this engine back? <laughs> or this one? Like, how, how expensive are the engines? Engines are actually kind of cheap to make, right? And they take up a lot of room. I find that an interesting part of this game. Like, yeah, two alloys... <coughs> to methane. Yeah, other than costing a lot of methane, the engines are not hard to remake. Thing is, I am spending my, my methane. So, I don't know. It's like... Just like this is so far, like... To bring all these engines back. Yeah, this planet... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll have to think about it. Because technically, right? Like, we can, like, make a whole another nine alloys, and that's, like, so many engines, right? <laughs> so I definitely want a stack of titanium here, I think. What do we make with that titanium? Everything. Well, stasis we already created a whole bunch of, so that's not super interesting anymore. But like a ship costs titanium. Yeah, I want to make another... Another... Uh... What was that? I misclick somewhere. I want to make another avocat, which costs... Yeah, so definitely bringing home a titanium. Like, either way. Uh, so I guess with him, I should grab some fuel and head there. Make a stack of titanium. Okay, good. And then you guys, let's see. <coughs> <coughs> let's see. Like you can play so much more efficient if you can plan better ahead. It's kind of crazy. Some more elixirs. Okay, and the turn. Then you ta, you ta. I want you to make grab some titanium here. Okay, so he has like, what? Two, four, six. 
well, five empty spots. Depends, really. I feel like maybe like these two guys, they should start going out because there's too much stuff here already, you know? Yeah. Even if I leave the engines behind, there's too much stuff. So we take iron alloys stasis. Uh, now, where do we plan to land with these two? Like I said, we're going to land here, right? How much fuel is that? <laughs> that's 29 fuel. That's crazy. I mean, that's 29 energy. But like, I have enough fuel to land there. And then what? We turn this water into like more fuel? I mean, that is the plan, right? But... It would be much better if I would be able to like, get there with only one stack of fuel. But, um... And this is where the other engines actually engine actually comes in handy, right? It's gonna be way more efficient, so maybe that's okay. This one has 160 efficiency, this one has oh they're actually very close in efficiency. Yeah, this one's not that great. Caracal is Caracal just really good? Yeah, Caracal is the better three fuel. Caracal is like really good. Like this is the uh, the Oncilla is the worst boost two engine, and Caracal is the better three boost engine. So they're so so close. I don't know if this would actually make a difference. This one. So I think I'd rather bring another stack of materials here. <coughs> and then what do I do? So definitely don't want to do this in one go, right? Like, this is the worst part, these two. So go here, and then here. And then I land. Okay, let's see how much fuel we need for that. So... <clears throat> so I wish I could, like, do, like, checkpoints. Like, click here, then click here, then click here. And the game would calculate that for me. But I have to do it manually. <laughs> <coughs> so first step of the journey is gonna be one fuel. That's three energy. And then 16 energy, that's gonna be seven more fuel. I'm gonna be there, so that's 10. And then the last one, three, six, eight. So 13 fuel is enough. So we're gonna have some fuel left over, but we need two stacks either way. Okay, and uh, before we go, we need only two actions to go here and here. So we spent all the other actions. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're gonna be navigating. What's your superpower? He has no special ability. Okay. I think that's enough for the other dude. 
Unless he can carry some extra iron with him. I don't know if he's gonna have space. But I have one extra action which I don't have anything to spend it on, so... Wait, do I actually have a food producer here? I should have, right? Yeah. So I'm wondering like, if it's worthwhile to do this. Yeah, definitely. This is so cheap. Only 10 to land. I think with this extra water, like we can make more distance than if this was just two stacks of fuel if we're not making the detour, right? Because this is six stacks of fuel and I'm not spending like a stack to do this and this. Okay, new efficiency unlocked. Nice. Okay, so we go here. Also, I just realized how amazing these Karakal engines are. <coughs> I need to make a couple more. Oh, no! I forgot my droid behind. Um... Awkward. <laughs> I mean, I can go back, but then I have even more actions, which I don't have anything to do with. Yeah, that's not good. Um, ah, dude. I wish the game had undo button, if nothing new was find out. All right. I'm gonna continue with the plan. Because I think I have too many resources here anyway, so. It's not super bad, it's just annoying. Now. <coughs> there is something about not spending all my methane, you know? Um, so we can build the good engines. I don't think I'm close to that yet, but... Let's, like, keep at least 9 methane. Are we gonna grab some silica here? Maybe not even. Like, number of turns is, like, quickly coming to an end, so... Yeah. 8 is like, well, it's a decent amount still, but he can spend all the methane, though. Okay. So you land there now. Okay, I think, considering what just happened... We go with this dude also this turn. Uh, so we can, with him... I can go there, do what I must, go back there, Grab as much titanium as I can. And then... Go there. How much fuel is this? Seven. It's better if you go from here, though, but... Since droid is there and I want to use his actions... And I want more titanium, I think it's better to just go pick up the drone first. Yeah, that's the annoying part about this whole thing. About this whole mistake. Maybe I don't even come back. Maybe I grab eight titanium and be like, okay, that's probably enough. Yeah, let's go with 8. Okay. Yeah. 
Anything else here? No. It's looking pretty good. I already have more or less everything I need. Just need to get back home and hopefully we have enough. We can scrounge up some fuel in the end. Uh, so we have for the next mission. That's the biggest deal, right? Having enough fuel for the next one. Wait, can the drone operate the ship? He can. Okay, in that case... Yeah, in that case we can go here and then... Yeah, okay. Right. Hmm. Okay. I think this engine is very crappy. Serial engine. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this behind. I, it's so bad. It's only good if you need like to land up on a planet of trust too. Which we might get more and more. That's true though. This is a bit awkward. It's like, hey, I want to make some fuel here because... But water's probably more efficient. But then we already have five fuel here, so... there and I'm leaving all of that behind apparently <laughs> I think that's fine this is a lot of a lot more resources I would be happier if I'm bringing back home more than eight titanium but even if I was not able to build another big ship I would still be okay I think <coughs> okay so we go here And then we switch their places and go there. I mean, I can't land here. I was like, it would be so much more efficient if I land here anyway. But he cannot land with the reverse engine, so I messed up again. Yeah, I'm making some mistakes here. It's okay. It's not really that important but if i played on a higher difficulty like every little time i do something inefficient here it would definitely add up so the reason oh no actually no even even if i do end up on the planet i would not get extra actions next turn so never mind it's not as bad as i thought Yeah, I think I leave a stack of methane here. So we're gonna have nine methane for the next mission to make engines. Uh, yeah, and then head here. Okay, so here we turn as much water into fuel as we can. Also, these dudes can land. So we can share our cargo base for more efficiency. And what I don't want is like, you know. The overflow. 
For now we're fine. Okay. So you can make two more elixirs. There. And Sava, I think... Sava might actually fly out now. Ooh, but I think I calculated that I don't... I have enough fuel, okay. So how do you want to do it? If I do it all in one go, it's way too expensive, right? Yeah. So I think I wanted to like lift off. And then maybe even here. Yeah. Try to be as efficient as possible. Which means I'm gonna need lots of actions. I mean, I think, yeah, I think we do three more elixirs here. There. And I can even make some more fuel now. Maybe. And same story, right? Like this engine. Not super useful compared. Oh no, actually compared to this one, it is super useful. <coughs> yeah, for this dude, I need the other better engine. Definitely. Okay. Okay, let's see. So here... Yeah, I need to turn as much as I can. Okay, I'll definitely use the Android fully here, right? Whatever happens. Okay. <coughs> I have more room. For fuel. At least one more. This work this is working out greatly. I'm very happy. Okay, this is full. 9999999998898. Yeah, everything's full. Okay, it's time to move. Uh unless no, it's too late now to mine for iron. Plus, I'd... I already have 18 iron on me, so that's way more than enough. I mean, silica might be interesting, but no, I don't have room. But that's so much fuel, I'm so happy. Okay, let's see. 2, 5, 8, 10, 16, 20, yeah, so, pff, 16, so it might be worthwhile to land here, problem is we can't really land here, um, because it needs trust too, so, I think we don't make turn water into fuel here on this one, it's just not worthwhile to land, I don't think so. Um, also, what's happening here? Is he done? No, he's not done because he can make some more fuel. Okay. Here's the thing, though. He's already landed. Uh, but... So the question is, am I gonna land on this planet here and turn water into fuel? And I think I should. I think I should land on this planet and turn water into fuel. Okay. So that would be our next stop, yeah? Because we have five turns and then five more until the big star engulfs us all. So this will be my last stop. I'm gonna bring all my water here and turn as many of that water into fuel. That's the plan. 
Okay, good plan, good plan, I like it. Also, Yuta, he can be the one who's gonna come and grab uh, Lodi here. Yeah. It's gonna be more efficient. <laughs> there. How much f fuel do you like need? Like, is this enough for you? 18 fuel, is this enough? Mr. Salon. But no, 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 I forgot. Uh, it has to be the other dude because of the artifact. He has to do it because of the artifact. Hmm. So much. Okay. Well, I wanted to push out the ending of this video in this video, but I can already see it's gonna take me half more hour because there's some more planning to do, yeah? So I want I want Sava to rescue him. But now I'm considering that uh, since uh, since Yuta has uh, such an efficient time uh, with this engine here of value of one, that he should be the one that's gonna pick up the artifact dude. So he's gonna pick up the artifact dude. Oh no, but artifact dude has a ship with him. But, <laughs> droid can fly his ship. Okay. So these two can render view with Sava. And then droid takes over Sava's ship. Sava goes with him who has a very efficient engine and can land on this planet very efficiently. And then droid and the other dude go here and start making fuel. He lands here with Sava. Uh, we dig up the artifact and then we're on our way and also render view here. Make as much fuel uh, as you can here and then we end. Sounds like a plan, sounds like a plan. The only problem is... Okay, I can actually make some more fuel here with him while he's like... Because we're gonna render view here, right? Oh, actually no, there is no clock right now. Okay, I'm gonna figure it out in the next episode, like some kind of semi-efficient plan. Like there is an optimal solution to all of this. Uh, if I set up the hard constraints and say, this has to happen, for example, Sava has to get there. There's an optimal solution where I end up with the most fuel possible at the end of the mission. And I'm not gonna look for optimal solution, but I'm gonna look for something that makes somewhat of a sense. But anyhow, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do some nice things, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Banished uh, Vault, where we're gonna optimize it some more and finally hibernate and go to the next solar system to spread some more chronicles and a space religion. The Neomers signing out. Bye-bye.